trauma-informed treatment addresses psychological problems as something caused by the environment and not the genetic inheritance, for example. This creates responsibility. It's healing for one to understand their life experience, realizing it and putting it into perspective. However, this is especially hard and demanding with emotional damage because it is very natural for human to avoid and elude something that is unbearable. What is essential is to understand what the disproportionate emotions and states, the overreactions, are telling us. They are carrying an important message from the past that can be deciphered. For this we need another person and verbal sharing. It is especially hard when exceptional and unbearable things have happened. A common problem is that in a therapeutic setting only one part of the person is considered and seen and two far-reaching conclusions are drawn from this. This results in various issues and errors in judgment. And most importantly, the patient doesn't feel like they are seen in a truthful way. Trauma theory helps us to understand the big picture. Looking at it more realistically, seeing the complexities, so that a better target for treatment can be found. There are different stages in trauma treatment. Successful treatment takes time, inevitably. First, you must build enough trust and safety. Safety is the most important condition for a successful treatment of trauma. The treatment must include a corrective emotional experience that you don't have to be alone with your problems anymore. Then it is possible to gain totally new experiences of being understood and really seen. It is in itself healing to be wholly seen and understood as all your parts and it can bring more realization for the past and the present. This can have a magnificent effect on you. It can free you from the shackles of the past. A specific fact is that numerous and frequent corrective emotional experiences are needed to recover from childhood trauma. It takes so much time and the kind of patience that it is not considered appropriate and reasonable in these times of maximum efficiency. We have to keep away from the idea that trauma can't be healed. It is a question of how much time we are willing to invest on it. Sufficiently long-term treatment of trauma will pay for itself many times, so it is especially cost-efficient.